Okay, uh, I got a question from a user on YouTube the other day. Lego GBC asked how you would build a uh, fidget spinner to generate electricity uh, using an air compressor. Well, this isn't a fidget spinner, but it's it's a, a setup I have right now. Uh, this little part's out of a VCR. You could use the fidget spinner here instead, okay? But I'm using this to demonstrate how you would do it with a fidget spinner. Uh, some of the fidget spinners I have handy right now are set up differently, but on a fidget spinner you could always sand down the end of these uh, arms and super glue some magnets on there, similar to the way this is set up here. Um, also, if you're planning to do it extremely fast with an air compressor, I would, like I taped around the magnets here, the very outside magnet I didn't tape around, but the two inside ones are taped around. Uh, you don't want these things flying off, especially inside the house. Uh, if you're going to do a really high speed, you might want to try it outside the house or be real careful if you're inside the house. So here we got uh, basically just magnets uh, on something that will spin, okay? If you're going to use a fidget spinner, uh, this one I was playing with recently, I just put a piece of tape on the bottom to raise it up. Uh, even if you have the magnets on the outside, you might not have enough clearance uh, from this part on the bottom. So uh, occasionally I've taken like two or three pennies and super glued them to the bottom part so it raises the fidget spinner up off the platform so you have clearance there. So you need to mount your fidget spinner, uh, super glue it on the bottom with some uh, pennies or something to raise it up so you have clearance for your magnets. So then what would you have, you would have then is a circle uh, with magnets on the outside. Okay, now to generate electricity, grab one of these synchronous motors. There's a couple places you can find these. Uh, an old broken microwave will have them down bottom. It's what turns the plate. Okay. Also, oscillating fans have these. If you look behind the big blades, there's a big motor that turns the blades. But at the bottom of that is one of these small synchronous motors. It's the one that turns the fan slowly back and forth. Okay. So grab one of these. You pry the face off with a screwdriver. There's a bunch of gears inside. They come out real easy. You can just take them off with your hand. There may be another metal type plate underneath. You pry it up with a screwdriver. Just keep fiddling with it. It'll come off. At the bottom, you'll find this nice coil. All right. Uh, and again, you'll have to pry it out a little bit. Once you, you get it just so it'll come right out. Uh, then you cut the wires. Okay, make sure you have your connection here. Just put an LED across it. It doesn't matter which way. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this really fast with my hand. This is not a motor. It's just a setup I play with. And hang on, let me get the uh, thing positioned in the right place here. Okay, we're making light just by spinning the magnets. They go by the coil. You got an LED across the wires. There's your uh, electricity that you're generating. And so hopefully this will help answer the gentleman's question there.